Right, let's take you to the Eastern Cape now, where residents of Komani have taken their frustrations over poor service delivery to the streets. For two days now, community members shut down the area, calling for the council to be dissolved. The Enoch Mkichi, a local municipality, made headlines in 2021 over a shoddy multi-million rand stadium. Zikona Chona is in the area for us. Zikona, thank you for your time. What exactly are the residents here unhappy about? So residents here in Komani managed to shut down the town for two days, walking through the streets or driving through the streets in this area. All the shops have completely been closed, so all the businesses have not been able to operate for the last two days. The community is angry over um, what they describe as a lack of service delivery from this municipality. They've lost absolutely all faith and confidence in the leadership of this area when it comes to providing basic services. People are calling for roads, reliable power supply. They're saying there are areas here that can go for months without any electricity. They also want recreational centers for young people in particular so that people can have, young people can have things to do other than to turn to drugs and alcohol. So they want the municipality to be dissolved. They want an ear of, of the national government. In fact, they want someone to come down here to the residents of Komani and hear their cries. But to talk to me more about this is a leader from this protest. Thank you so much for your time. You've shut down the town for two days. Um, I, and I've noted some of the things that you are calling for. You want reliable power supply, you want better roads, particularly in the townships in this area. What else are you saying as residents in this protest? Uh, okay, my name is Yolanda Tanga from the Komani Protest Action. We shut down the town because of service delivery that we're not getting in this town. The other thing that we're lacking is water. We have no water, we have no uh, roads. We have no electricity. Our electricity problem is not the one of low shedding. It is actually an, an ongoing challenge that is caused by the cables that are not being maintained. So we, we as the community of Queenstown, want this municipality to be dissolved. We are tired of the way things are happening in this town. The only thing we want is the council to be dissolved, nothing else. And then we, we've, we've seen some video clips circulating uh, with responses and reactions from the mayor in particular as the leaders of this protest. He, he's denied that the, there are grievances here, service delivery grievances in this area. What do you have to say about that? We understand that the mayor is ignorant. He's a very uh, non-caring person. So you can just see by his persona, even by the, the, the attitude that he has given, because of the shutdown. He has been dancing, celebrating, calling us fools, so he doesn't really care about the community. That is why we want the council to dissolve. It's one of the biggest reasons. He doesn't care about what's happening in this town. So for him, it's a joke, for, but for the community, it's a really big cry. You can see the outcome. You can see the people that have come through. They are tired. People have walked from Umlungisi, some from Esbeleni, because they are tired of how things are going. And just the last one, today is Friday. I know you had a meeting with the community. What is the way forward? We had a meeting with the MEC today, uh, Mr. Williams. Uh, in our meeting, we told him that we do not want to communicate with anyone from the local or from the province, meaning we do not want to communicate with the mayor and his council. We do not want to communicate with the premier and his delegates. We want national to come and tell us when are they going to dissolve this municipality. So when we spoke to the MEC, he told us that he has been sent to come and listen to our problems, but he is not bringing a solution now, today. He is going to convey a message to Dr. Tangosa Zanazuma, and then he will get back to us. We have also shown him that there are community members that have signed a petition of like 190 members and that is not all. We had about 3,900 people who have already signed, so we need more people who will sign the petition. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. That is Luanda Tsanga, who is one of the leaders of this protest, oh, Yolanda Raza, who is just saying that this, the, this community has had long-standing um, service delivery issues, and they are tired of the year of the province and they now want the national government to intervene. Now, Clement, we have reached out 
to the local municipality for a response with regards to the protests and also to respond on the clips that we've seen making the rounds on social media with the mayor showing complete disregard for the hundreds of people that shut down this town calling for his council to be disbanded. Now, throughout the weekend, we'll be telling the story behind this protest. We'll be going into various communities in Omani, speaking to people about service delivery issues in this area and what it is that has brought this community to the point that people are at as we stand. All right, Zikona Chona, live to us from Komani in the 